I did. I spoke to the superintendent and parents, and this decision comes nearly a week after the school board voted to allow the superintendent to make these types of changes without approval from the board. Today, parents had a mixed reaction to the news. Um, not liking it. You don't want your kid to have to wear a mask? No. I'd rather do what I can to, to help protect me and mine and then other people surrounding us. The Edmonds superintendent says requiring masks was not an easy decision. We want students in school five days a week, and I am convinced that the wearing of masks will reduce our quarantine numbers. According to the district website, as of Tuesday, nearly 2,000 students are in active quarantine, and close to 400 students have tested positive. Now, even though these are required, there is an opt-out option for religious, medical, and personal reasons. There are some families that just are adamantly opposed to having their child wear a mask, and we want to respect that. We do believe in family choice and want to make sure those families have that choice. They do have the opt-out option. Is that something you consider? Uh, yes. Now, this policy remains in effect until October 13th. Live in Edmond, Shelby Montgomery, KOCO 5 News.